Hey class, welcome back to the STEM lab. Today, we're going to be learning how to draw the Mandalorian. So as always, you're going to need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And then for colors today, we're going to be using brown. And then to create our silver best scar, we're going to use some shading with our pencil. All right, guys, let's get going. Hello and happy Wednesday. Today we're drawing the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is going to be in the middle of our paper and we're going to worry about creating mostly his helmet and upper shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is start with his head. His head's going to be in the middle top of our paper and we're going to start with a really big circle to get the idea of how big we want his head to be. So we're going to start with a really big circle in the middle of our paper, we're really focusing on his head as the main center point of our picture. From this circle, we're gonna make sure that we bring two straight lines down on each side. These are gonna form the side of our head, and we're really using the top of this circle to create that nice round top to his helmet. After that, after we have those sides, we're gonna come around making a slight curved line the bottom, that will be the bottom of his helmet. Now, we were using that circle originally to give us the top of the head, so we don't really need that bottom part of our circle anymore. In the middle though, we're gonna start coming up with some design lines and the visor to the Mandalorian's helmet. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of create a T shape. So at the top we have our curve, and right under our curve where our line starts to go straight across, we're gonna make a slightly curved line from one side of our head to the other. This is gonna be the top of our visor. Now, this visor's gotta be enough room for some eyes to see through it, so we're gonna make it a double thick line. But once we get to the middle, we're gonna go down, almost like we're making a T. So when we get to the middle, it's not going to connect. It's going to go down, almost like we're making the letter T. And that's going to be the first thing that's going to give us this unique Mandalorian helmet look. The second part is the outline to the visor. So at the top, we're going to make a line across, going just across, just like how our visor line went. And then under our visor on both sides, we're gonna start not on the outside, but it's a little bit in and a little bit down. We're gonna start creating a curved line that goes down and stops at the bottom of the face. So I'll start on the outside, come in a little bit and make a curved line it goes down to the bottom of the face. And we want to make those look kind of even on each side of our T shape there. Now you're probably saying, why doesn't it go all the way to the end? Because right by the end there, I want it to go straight down. We're going to add kind of a mohawk. It's going to be a straight line that's going to go from the top our head down, or two lines I should say, about as wide as our T. Next, right around the side of the top of our T, or that visor shape, we're gonna make a rectangle. It's gonna come out and down. We kind of think of this as where our ears would be in the helmet. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There are also different tactical pieces Mandalorians add to this part. So now at this point, we really have a good outline for our helmet. The next thing that we're gonna do is our neck. And our Mandalorian is wearing a heavy scarf. So down from the sides, the neck we're gonna come across, 
on both sides and kind of meet. And in that, we're just going to make some lines. However you want. I kind of crisscross mine, but they don't touch. And that's just to make it look like cloth or fabric. Our next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring down our shoulders. So right up where our neck meets our helmet, we're going to bring down two lines. And that's going to be a start of our shoulders. Where he's actually going to be wearing some shoulder pads. Okay. And this is going to be our last big detail outside of our head. We're going to come up slightly at the ends of both of those. So we know that's where we're going to go to. And we're going to curve around and down to make a nice armored shoulder pad that best scar armor. And then at the bottom, we're going to wrap it and curve all the way back up to that top line that we made. Same down here, we're going to wrap right up to that top line. A Mandalorian carries a sling around him to hold some of his different bounty hunting weapons. So we're going to do that by creating a line that goes across the top of one shoulder down to the bottom. And under that sling, we're going to make a line across to show the top of his armor. We'll curve it here. We'll curve it in on the other side, all the way in. So as you can see, we've got some pretty good, pretty good detail there. I'm going to put a line for detail on both sides of these arms on his armor. And across the front here, we're going to put a couple lines for his bolts. Those are special blaster bullets that go in his laser rifle. All right. So now that we have our outline for Armando, we're going to ink it and color it. Here we go. All right, guys, today to color my Mandalorian, I'm using a special technique called cross hatching. That's when you take lines and your color going one way, going across, and then you cross hatch the other way. This gives a cool kind of unique texture and makes it look more like fabric. The second part of my picture, I'm gonna actually color with my pencil and that's gonna be the metal of the armor that the Mandalorian is wearing. I'm going to lightly go across my whole armor, going back and forth, and I want the gray of the pencil to cover as much of it as I can. So my strokes back and forth are going to be pretty close together. I'm not making big wavy zigzags. I'm trying to cover in as much space as I can and get as much of that gray on the paper. Now, once I have it on there, I'm just gonna take the tip of my finger and I'm gonna run it in circles with a little bit of pressure across and it's going to smooth out that gray color. Now, be warned, you're also gonna get some pencil on your finger, so. You might have to wash your hands afterwards. Once you do that, you'll get a nice gray color. And then in order to make it look shiny, you can take your eraser and erase on some of your accent lines. So across on the visor or on the sides, just adding a little bit of white by erasing. It's going to make your Mandalorian shine and to make his Beskar armor stand out.
All right, guys, I'm all done. After I did my highlights, I went and added some darker tones and then colored in my satchel as well. And of, course, of course, when you're done, make sure you sign your paper. You worked really hard. You should be proud of all your hard work. All right, guys, we're all done with our Mandalorian. Thank you guys for drawing with me today, and I can't wait to see what kind of awesome backgrounds you make. Until next time, be kind and creative, and have a great day. Bye-bye.